For many of you, it's your least favorite time of year, back to school. So we've composed a list of applications which should help you ease back into the new school year. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and here are five essential back to school apps for iOS. Last week, we gave Android users some very helpful back to school applications to help ease them back into the school year. As requested, here are five essential back to school apps for iOS. It goes without saying that Khan Academy is one of the best online tools for learning just about anything math, science, economics, arts, computing, etc. Choose your course, the specific subject in question, and watch an in depth video on the concept with some example problems. Using the iOS app is hardly any different than viewing Khan Academy from the computer. It has all the same content as the website, except you can download videos and take them with you for offline viewing. Simply long press the title of a video to download it. The Khan Academy application is a must have for any student of any age. Best of all, it's entirely free. Another must have application for iOS is Wolfram Alpha, the computational knowledge engine. If you have a question, be it mathematics, physics, chemistry, about the population of a certain area, or just about anything else, Wolfram Alpha likely has an answer. You can do currency conversions, elaborate physics equations, or look up gasoline prices. The Wolfram Alpha application also has dozens of examples to choose from if you're not sure how to ask your question. If you're a student, you'll be doing yourself a favor by skipping coffee one day and spending $2.99 on the Wolfram Alpha app. Keeping track of everything is essential for schoolgoers and we have two applications which are perfect for just that. First is the free calendar application, Sunrise. On the surface, it's just another pretty calendar app with Google Calendar support. It has an agenda view fixated below the month view and sliding to the left reveals the week view. However, Sunrise has some nifty features beneath. One, it has inline weather information. It also has support for several third-party accounts. Google, iCloud, Microsoft Exchange, Facebook, TripIt, Asana, Productive, GitHub, LinkedIn, Songkick, Foursquare, Twitter, and Evernote. It also has built-in calendars for download such as religious or holiday calendars, sport calendars, week numbers, moon phases, and stock exchange calendars. One of the best calendar apps around, Sunrise is available on Mac, Web, Android, and iOS, and it's completely free. The second application for keeping track of everything is Todoist. As the name suggests, Todoist is a task list manager. Again, on the surface, it seems pretty basic. You can sort your tasks into various projects and prioritize them. You can also add labels and reoccurring dates to tasks as well. But there's much more to Todoist, like advanced search, task notes and file uploads, reminders, and calendar sync if you pay the $29 annual fee. In other words, you can add your tasks to Todoist and view them in Sunrise, a combination I've found to be irreplaceable. Todoist is available across several different platforms, Android, iOS, Chrome, Firefox, macOS, Windows, Outlook, and it even has a Gmail plugin to add tasks directly from emails. Note-taking applications are a dime a dozen, and most of them are packed to the brim with frivolous features. Vesper is the exact opposite. It's a minimalist note-taking application which only has a handful of features, by design. Group related notes by tagging them, order them in a way which makes most sense to you by long pressing and dragging, attach photos, and sync your notes using the built-in sync function. When you're done with a note, you can swipe it away to archive it so it's out of the way but not totally deleted. Other than that, you can adjust the typography settings, all caps, size, and weight. Vesper is lightweight and makes creating quick notes a breeze, and it's only $2.99. What are your must-have back-to-school applications for iOS? Share them in the comments below. Folks, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel. You can follow us around the web on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.